Yeah, it was good. It was um, yeah, a relief to get through the semi and uh, good to have a race in some um, conditions that we're used to as well. We're just two battlers, so you know, qualifying for an Olympic final is pretty much a dream come true for the both of us. And yeah, had some um, challenge of, challenges over the last four years, so that's good. We've achieved a fair bit together, I guess. Like, um, like what he said, we're just two battlers from Sydney Rowing Club, just trying to um, have a bit of fun and do what we can out here. So, yeah. Probably the medal favourites for the gold would be New Zealand, who uh, haven't been bedded in seven years, and then it's pretty much a blanket over the rest of the field for the minor placings. It's always um, good to get one over, you know, our mates from over the ditch, and you know we'll be trying to channel a bit of that tomorrow. Maybe combine it with some uh, John Eels spirit from the 2000 Bledisloe. All come together. It's been pretty red hot over the last year. You know, everyone's stepping up and like. You know, trying to get spots in the four. The four was a priority boat, so we missed out on that and we got in the pair. But luckily, we had some good mates, Nick, Nick Wheatley and uh, Jack Hargraves, who qualified the boat for us last year. So, you know, there was still a couple of spots for us. So it was bloody good of them. We, you know, we're drug tested pretty regularly, um, and you know, it's an essential part of uh, keeping keeping the sport clean. And yeah, it's it's um, you know. It's a bit of an impetus on, on clean athletes to be tested all the time, but it's you know it's necessary and you know it's it's, it's great. I personally haven't been tested since I got to Rio, but in Italy in our training block I was getting tested. Lloyd actually got tested directly after our race um, today. Got a bit of stage fright, so it took him a while to get it done, but he um, finally got back to the hotel and got some lunch. <laughs>